What's good, Digi Gang? My name is Jay Digital, and today we are going to react to Avril Lavigne's When You're Gone music video that was posted back in 2009. Let's go. Hope y'all have been great. I hope y'all have been phenomenal. I've been doing a lot of Avril Lavigne, mainly because it's been requested. And I want to do a, a good thing by my followers, or my subscribers, by my supporters, and do or react what they ask to have reacted. Uh, so we're jumping around a little bit. Um, as of right now, time is a bit, a little bit crunched, so we're going to touch on a few music videos before I actually go in to the full discography of Avril, which I want to do. Um, it's just, that's a lot of time. So we're going to do one album at a time over time, but as of right now, there are certain hot things that I want to get out and you know, move forward with, but mind you, I still want to react to some Avril uh, music videos and other content as well. So today we are doing the When You're Gone uh, music video. I have heard this song before. It was on the radio back in that time, 2009, around there, and it was everywhere. I, ha I can't say that I've actually seen the music video, though. Because back then, YouTube was still kind of a meh thing. So, um, we're going to go ahead and get going on this. I um, just want to make sure I'm not... I don't want to forget anything as far as my preface goes. I think I covered everything. If, for whatever reason, if you're seeing this on YouTube, great. But... Do keep in mind that if any video gets completely blocked from YouTube, it will end up posted on my Discord, so please feel free to follow or come join me on Discord. And thank you for those that have joined and are following me closely. And please consider joining the Patreon. Um, I'm not getting paid by no reactor for any for most content. Especially, at least right now, for me, I don't have a high, high enough numbers to monetize any of these videos I'm making. So, if you want to support me in these beginning days, consider joining the Patreon. I have one tier on there that is simply just $1.50. Uh, that's $1.50 USD. So, if you want to contribute, even in the smallest sense, with numbers, that could be immense. So please consider joining the Patreon. Um, I will be putting you on a list for my videos. They will they will be added once I start getting Patreons. But as of right now, we are sitting the Patreon list. So um, moving forward, let's get to it. Switching it up, Avril Lavigne. When you're gone, official video. I'm going to pull up the lyrics too, just in case I need them. I always need a time on my own. I never thought I'd need you there when I cry. So far... It goes right into the storyline, which is, you know, usually from my studies, music videos that have a, a, a full storyline that people can relate to, they just, the, the video goes bonkers. The quality matches up, the, the, the song is good, lyrically wise and all that, and it 
lines up with a story in the music video, it just it elevates the track, the music, elevates everything in an insane manner. This almost got half of a million views, which is impressive considering it's 2009. Although I do want to keep in mind that it is now 2022 and there are plenty of views that it have, had happened from that point till now. But still, nevertheless, impressive. Well, let's keep going. And the days feel like years when I'm alone. A lot of emotion as far as especially those that are in families of military. A lot of emotion goes behind this particular storyline. So storyline quality backed with emotion relatability all that stuff just makes it pop off anyway um i've always loved this song just the way that it sounds it's very it's a very sound song um in in all all the categories and it's just, and I, I do like the scenes that Avril has created for this music video with an old piano in an old room with a pretty dress. And she's just sitting there. It's very symbolic. Um, and usually with the artist, when they don't directly tie into the storyline, they usually dress them up in a creative manner that also correlates with the deep meaning of the songs. Let's keep going. And the bed where you lie is made. And with the climax shows a certain uh, twist. I got goosebumps that usually happens with the song. Um, just this note, when you're gone, it just hits so nicely um, with the feeling of the song and everything. But with all the complications that already exist in the music video, as we see, there's an added complication with the climax. And I feel like that accentuates the rise and just the overall gravity of the song which heightens the emotion um the mother of the the i don't know if they have kids doesn't seem like they have kids right now that's their first child but a family of two the mother and father the mother has a it's a baby in the oven and it's complicated because he's leaving like, I'm sure he would have wanted to stay and be a father to this child that's supposed to be born in the next, I don't know how long, how many months. Because I don't know how far along she is, but it, that, that, I don't know how often it happens, but I would imagine it happens pretty often because of just the nature of life. Um, uh, gratefully, it hasn't happened recently, I would hope, because of the lack of drafting that has happened here in the United States, I, I imagine that, that during this timeline or this storyline, that this, this gentleman was drafted, which is the reason why he's forced to leave, because I, I, I doubt anyone would want to leave their child to be um, in their time of need. It's just... It's, it's a really hard and emotional time in this storyline. Um, which I don't know that it gets much worse than that, honestly, aside from, because the thing about a breakup, just a breakup by itself, that, that scenario is, is, is extreme when you don't know any better. When you know better and it still gets complicated, this is about, this is pretty high up there. And uh, it's unfortunate, but I just wanted to elaborate on how extreme this is in the storyline. Anyway, let's continue. I'm going to back it up a little bit so we can get that height again.
So now, originally, I didn't know where these two people came in, where they were laying down and, and adoring each other. Now I'm realizing that that's them when they were younger, um, which brings it all together and makes it even worse. <laughs> but we'll keep going. Another element that complicates things is the mother doesn't approve of this guy. And this guy eventually, as we see, eventually becomes part of the army and has to leave the child. Forcefully. And they grow to have a family together. It's just the storyline goes way far back and then brings it back to the original spot and it's just creating more complications so we'll just keep going Now, as far as the lyrics so far, they're more or less just illustrating the idea that uh, there's a love there. There's a void that they, that this particular or any individual has that another person actually ends up filling, whether it be temporarily or not. But they don't know that until things start happening. Um, and there's some separation in the lyrics as well. Um, you see how much I need you right now when you're gone. Yeah, so there's, but I never thought I'd need you there when I cry alone. Uh, made up on your side. When you walk away, I count the steps that you take. So it's really about the leaving aspect. She's putting emphasis on the togetherness and then putting emphasis on, for as far as the lyrics go, the, the leaving um, sounds like a temporary leave, but she's hint hinting temporary leave, but then accentuating a potential permanent leave, which makes it all the worse. So we'll keep going. I've never felt this way. Now it's almost like he's way older and the wife, so whatever for whatever reason, has passed, whether it be of old age or whether it be of giving childbirth. Um, we'll see. Reminds me of you. And these things are things that the producer of this music video is, is giving us uh, little hints of thought that creates uh what's the word creates i guess mystery within the music video or the production um so just, we're just sitting here wondering what's next what's next it puts us on the edge of our seat these elements that people don't normally think about in a music video um that make the music video worthwhile it's just like how a lot of the Netflix shows that I see nowadays, and I'm sure you, you watch, um, at the end of almost every episode, there's a cliffhanger because that's what gets people to keep watching. And some do it better, better than others. And just the general quality of the show is what keeps people at the edge of their seat and wanting more. Um, that's the kind of thing you have to create within a music video. And it's almost harder to do because it's in such a condensed space. Four minutes is not a whole lot of time to create a storyline. And even in a sense of making it full enough that people relate to it in, in this way. So this kind of music video is superb. Let's keep going. And the clothes you
And with lyrics like that, that's why there's this bit, a bit of back and forth where it's like, um, when you're gone, and then there's these things that I love about you when you are here. Um, you know, ping pong in it, basically, um, with a lack of better terms. But let's keep going. Obviously, she's sitting at home watching the war happen on the news, and she's super worried that he's not going to come home. Now we're back to the beginning parts of the storyline. And it's almost like the the relatability of the lyrics are being placed in this music music video for both sides. Because the the women here, that's like I miss you. The older gentleman is I I miss you. You're you're passed on or what have you. You're not here. I miss you. Um, and even in the female in the beginning, and it it appears to correlate all together. And I'm hoping that it all comes at the comes together at the end. Um, but we'll 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 see. Just keep going. Now, this has took a pretty interesting turn. Um, with the breaking down of the walls. Now, wordsmith-wise, breaking down or falling down of the walls is sort of symbolic within itself. Um, the... Because... When people let down their walls, they become more open, become more vulnerable. Um, and with how emotional the song is, it you know kind of makes sense, which is I think is a, a, a interesting creative point to bring up. Um, but I, I'm really interested to see do all of these people convey together after all the walls are broken down. It's almost like they've arrived in the same spot um, in a graveyard. So we'll let's keep going. Now, despite the loss that this gentleman has, so I, I guess I was wrong, they didn't arrive in the same spot. Uh, so, gentleman is is uh, celebrating life instead of grieving the death at that point. Of course, after, because everybody goes through grievance. Um, the grieving... Um, So yeah, the grieving happens, but on the flip side, he is now celebrating. So what's next here? What is she doing? And make it okay. I miss Okay, so it's not the same storyline. I'm, I'm a bit, I'm a bit disappointed, <laughs> but it's okay. This, th th these kind of drop offs happen in music videos because, like I said, it's such a condensed spot. Um, I almost really like music videos where they, where the music pauses, the music stops, and then it, it, it like adds a short film feel to it. I love those, um, even though. I feel like the music video 
needs music throughout the whole way through. It's a bit, uh, find it a little odd that they break it up, but I understand why. And uh, I would prefer it for the music music to go all the way through, but I also like that it breaks up. So I have an internal uh, fight with that. But with this music video, it looks like they're all separate s stories, so to speak. They just they just create different um, different emphasis, different perspectives. So let's fi let's finalize this out. Cool. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my reaction to When You're Gone by Avril Lavigne, the music video and the song as it is. Um, join the Patreon. At the very least, the, the lowest tier is 150. You'll still get credited on my videos if you join the Patreon. Um, join the Discord if if. At the very least, join the Discord. There's no charge there. Um, and if you like the video, hit like. Helps the algorithm. If you have, a, have something to say, please put it in the comments. Let me know what you think. Um, and if you don't have anything to say to help the algorithm, just put uh, a rock sign emoji in the comment section. And if you want to continue seeing videos like this, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you want to get notified after subscribing, hit the bell. Um, anyway, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for uh, taking time out of your day to watch this. Um, hope you all have an amazing day. Remember your heart. Peace.